This video is going to teach you and show you some bony landmarks of the ankle. So it's really relevant for the level four sports massage course, but for anyone wanting to learn about bony landmarks and anatomy at this uh, body part, and it also linked with muscles of the shin we're gonna do later. So I've got different ways of showing you. I've got this anatomical structure. I've got my client here, and I'm gonna be drawing on the body. So the first thing I'm gonna draw is, as we come down the leg, on the medial side, we've got this big lumpy bit of bone, which is here. Hopefully my client hasn't got a screw in the middle there, but that big lumpy bit I'm gonna draw as a big circle. That is the medial malleolus. And the medial malleolus is actually another name for here, which is the end of the tibia. But it's actually part of the tibia. Most people know it as an ankle bone, but it's nothing to do with one of the seven ankle bones. So it's the tibial end. On the near side here, if we drop down um, about an inch, which I'll show you on here, if we come down about an inch downwards, drop down, and then come forward an inch, we end on this bone. And if we can have a look, you'll see it does stick out a little bit further than the rest. Uh, these are actually all the ankle bones, and there are seven ankle bones. Okay. Let's go back to my client's foot. I come down one inch off the medial malleolus. I come forward and I can palpate, whether it's obvious or not, but I can feel that bone there. So that bone is the one I just shown you on the anatomical model, which I'm going to draw like so, is the navicular tuberosity. It's navicular tuberosity. Go down one inch, forward an inch. If you're metric, two and a half centimeters, two and a half centimeters. From here, if you come round, fly round to the other side, um, we're going to have a look on the outside part of the foot. So now we've got, coming down the fibula, we've got this large lumpy bit of bone here. So that is actually the end of the fibula. It's known as the lateral malleolus. Um, the other end of the fibula is the head of the fibula up here. So lateral malleolus. Now from lateral malleolus, if I show you on the model, Lateral malleolus is here. And if we come down about a centimeter, are you able to see that bony ridge? Is that obvious? Okay, so that little bony ridge, it might not be so obvious actually on a real life specimen. We're all very different. I'm gonna come from here. I'm gonna drop down about a centimeter and hopefully you can see that on my client on the couch. I'm gonna draw it as a bit of a ridge like so. So that ridge of bone is called the peroneal tubercle, but it's actually part of this bone, which is the calcaneus. So it's a little bony landmark, which is part of the heel bone. So peroneal tubercle, there's a muscle that comes down the outside of the leg, the peroneus longus. It wraps around the lateral malleolus. It goes hooks underneath that and comes underneath the foot and comes round to the navicular or the medial cuneiform. Okay. So bony landmarks for level four, medial malleolus, come down an inch, forward an inch, navicular tuberosity. Round the other side, we have lateral malleolus, drop down one centimeter from there. This is on the lateral side, the peroneal tubercle. And then all of this bone right at the back, which we all know is the heel bone. Okay, it's a big chunky bone there, is the calcaneus. Uh, there's one little area and something else I need to show you as well. So as we flex and extend at the foot here, we can drop down into the front of the ankle. And what I'm dropping down into is this space here. So tibia, underneath the tibia, we've got an ankle bone called the talus. And there's an indentation there. There'll be two, if we get my client to go into dorsiflexion, okay, you'll see a thick tendon there, thick tendon there, and then relax. Okay, and now I can press in. So I'm just gonna draw those two tendons like so. The space between the two tendons is called the talar dome. Okay, so it's part of the talus bone, which forms the hinge joint at the ankle, or the modified hinge joint. So we've got talar dome there. And if we're trying to find the ankle joint line, what we're going to do 
you can do this at the start really covered in pen i'm going to smudge it all so i'll show you one here but we go around the head of the fibula we go sorry around the lateral malleolus around the medial malleolus we come around the front and now we're just above the talar dome so you're feeling that whole joint line and that's where the movement comes from okay I would, on my client, do the same thing. I go around the malleolus, across here, across to the talar dome and press in. And we can see that is where the ankle movement, dorsiflexion, plantar flexion comes from. So they're the five bony landmarks you need for the level four course. Uh, we'll also help your knowledge when learning muscle attachments.